This is a this is a gourd banjo, and uh, this instrument is based on uh, an instrument that's seen in a painting from the 1720s of, of a plantation in South Carolina. And in the painting, uh, there's uh, a group of slaves and uh, there are someone is playing this instrument and then there's another uh, sort of frame drum like a tambourine and there's uh, two or three people dancing. It's this kind of folk painting. So there's been a lot of people experimenting with these instruments. These are kind of the missing link between the West African uh, gourd instruments and uh, what is the modern day five string banjo. So they, they reckon that there was these instruments existed in uh, the Caribbean and the American South, made by slaves, and uh, they kind of they 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 had four strings instead of five, but they always had this little drone string. And one of the keys that when you see film uh, of West African uh, musicians playing, there's an instrument called an akanting, which is a gourd and has strings. The technique for playing is exactly the same as frailing the banjo. That's sort of one of the keys that they say, you know, it's, it, it, it links the instruments, which is basically hitting down on the strings with your fingernails. And they always have this drone string. So uh, I've been messing around with this. I made this instrument, and um, then, uh, so I thought, why couldn't you just play Irish music on it? <laughs> Maybe. We're about to find out. <laughs>